Hey what is up welcome back to another video and this one is an absolute banger because I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about segments, how to segment your list, what type of content to send to those people and how to create those segments in Clary. I'm gonna show you all the definitions you need to know plus I'm gonna show you over 30 campaign ideas that you can send specifically tailored to each segment. So make sure you watch the whole video. Now let's start with the, uh, with the mind map, which uh, you know I love mind maps, I'm using them over and over again because they're very easy to picture stuff uh, and easy to read. So first of all, I always create segments based on engagement or buying behavior. I'm not a huge fan of micro segmenting and using very like small segments because then by using super small segments you're limiting your potential to make more sales. So in some scenarios making super small segments makes sense but unless you have an email list over 100k people or 200k people it doesn't make sense for you to create those segments because they only have like 50 people in it uh, and ultimately like you would make more, mon more money by sending to a bigger segment. So let's start with engagement. Uh, those are people engaged in the last 30, 60, 90 or 180 days. Those are, those are the main time frames I use. If you want to have different time frames, feel free to do it. Those are just the ones that I use. Then definition, uh, we, we create those segments based on iOS 15 and Apple privacy opens. So we have iOS 15 false or iOS 15 true and you have those two segments. As you can see, uh, those are the segments of people who are engaged with your email or with your store. If you want to go one step further and create create segments that will increase your open rates, you would only create those segments based on people who engaged with your emails. So for iOS 15 fold, it would be people who opened the email uh, and obviously bounced less than two times and they are not suppressed for email. So we would remove all those parts. Uh, and for iOS 15 true, you would have opened the email at least once and clicked email uh, and you would remove any store activity. Uh, then you just have people that are engaged only with email, not with the store. You can play with them and see which ones are working better for you. But I found that people who are engaged either with emails or with store usually tend to perform better. Those segments have better sales, better clicks. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, feel free to test it for how it works for you and your brands. Then we have the content. So what type of emails to send to them? And as you can see, there are a bunch of ideas that you can apply with. Uh, Pre-launch hype. So if you're launching a product, uh, if you're having a restock, you can just hype those people and let them know, hey, we're going to have something exciting soon. Uh, they're engaged with emails or your store, so they know what it's all about and they're, they'll be excited about the email. Then holiday promos, sales or events. So again, those people are very likely to buy. That's why you want to show them uh, any sales or events that you have because they are engaged, as the name suggests. That's why you want to keep them engaged as well. Referral program. So. If, if they like your brand, they're very likely to refer it to someone else and it just makes you get more clients without spending more money on ads. So you have pretty much new customer for customer acquisition cost equal to zero. Pretty, pretty, pretty good if you ask me. Then giveaways. So again, people are engaged, reward them, uh, do some giveaways. If you have any, let them know. If not, just don't send it. That's it. Gift cards. One of my favorite campaign ideas. Now, the reason behind it is that you may think, yeah, I'm giving away a gift card. Uh, yes, you're giving away a gift card, but it's gift card to your store. So you don't want to be giving away a gift card to Starbucks unless it's some, top, some type of content or giveaway, contest or giveaway, uh, or for example, a request for UDC. But the idea is that you send people a gift, a gift card once they buy. Let's say you're having a 20 bucks gift card campaign idea, uh, and then people need to purchase for at least 100 bucks to get this gift card. So what happens is that they spend 100 bucks without discount whatsoever and you give them 20 bucks discount. Well, chances are that if they have a discount, the gift card, they're going to use it to on, in your store because there's no other way they can use it. So what happens is instead of making them buy once, you're making them buy once again after they have a gift card because they just need to use it. So uh, you're cre increasing the LTV in a very straightforward way. And even you may think that your margins are being sacrificed it's even better than if you would run a usual discount or like sale because you're not giving discount on the first purchase you're giving away a gift card which is technically a discount on the second purchase so again great way to increase LTV blog articles you want to educate people that are engaged pretty straightforward then announcement celebrations so again uh, you just need to people let the people know uh, any announcements that you have because again they'll be excited about the content bundles so it's not a secret that people like bundles, like they are working very well. Uh, if you have some products that are bundled and they are cheaper when sold together instead of one by one, it's just gonna do well. 
new arrivals, uh, it always works well, no matter what you're selling, the new arrivals work extremely well, especially when you send it to engaged segments, because people are engaged with either email or store, so they want to be in touch with you and with your brand, that's why new arrivals always go well, because it is fresh stuff and people like fresh stuff. How we make our products, so a little bit behind the scenes, but again, it is great to build this relationship, relationship and have loyal customers, loyal fan base of people that are gonna be engaged, they know a lot about your brand and they'll pretty much never leave you because they know everything about you and they love you. So those are the few ideas you can send uh, and you can pause the video but also link, leave the, the mind map in the video description down below so you can just click it and download it if you want, it's gonna be accessible all the time. Then we have a segment which we are only excluding, so this is why for content I only include exclude from campaigns. You are never gonna send uh, an email to them unless you're having sunset and engaged flow. If you do have it, then you will have this segment as a trigger. So here's the definition, I'm not gonna read it because it doesn't make sense. But again, you want to remove unengaged people uh, just to keep your list clean, have high open rates and don't destroy your deliverability. Hey, just very quickly. So if you're running an e-commerce store and you want to scale it using email and SMS, go to ventimail.com and book a call with me. I'm gonna show you how I will help you add anywhere between 30 to 50% more revenue every single month using email and SMS so you don't have to spend more money on ads and you will be finally able to profitably scale your store. We will handle everything email related, which is deliverability, list growth, flows, campaigns, segmentation, copywriting, design, literally anything you can think of. Go to ventimail.com, book a call with me and let's have a chat. Now let's move to buying behavior where we, we uh, have three different type of types of segments for the buying behavior. So we have non-buyers, existing customers and VIPs. For non-buyers it's very simple, people who didn't buy and, that, and people that can receive your emails and they're not suppressed, they gave you the consent to send them. So the content, new arrivals, again maybe someone is interested in buying a jewelry piece from you but they don't like any of your current rings so maybe once you drop new arrivals they're gonna buy them and this is most mostly what happens, uh, that happens quite often, that's why you want to always send new arrivals. Listicles and advertorials extremely powerful format if you are selling a product that saves, solves a problem so uh, you want to just educate your people uh, and uh, probably you're running ads so you know that listicles and advertorials work exceptionally well when running ads so just do the same thing for emails that's it then usp or us versus them so they're not not non-buyers so they haven't bought from you yet that's why you want to tell them, okay, you should buy from us instead of our competitor because X, Y, Z, right? This is the main campaign idea uh, that works extremely well because you're just talking about your USP. Those people, uh, they're on your list for some reason, so they want to buy. You just give, need to give them a reason to do so. Then FAQs, so some people just have a bunch of questions that need to be solved. Uh, and then once you answer those questions, they're going to buy. Same goes for Mythbusters, so people have some beliefs about some specific, you know, ideas or problems, prove them wrong and just send this campaign and convert them into existing customers. Uh, success stories, testimonial reviews, great, great format, because you're showing the exact path someone took from A to B and that your product helped them achieve that, so it just social proof always works well, except especially for non-buyers. Education about the problem, so there are different stages of awareness of the problem and of the solution. That's why the next campaign is product awareness. You just want to teach people about, you know, either your product or the problem itself because they might not be fully aware of the problem or how your product helps them solve this problem, so just let them know. Authority mentions, so usually as seen in, for example, if you got a mention in Forbes or TechCrunch or anything like that or Shark Tank, Whatever it is, send this campaign, great for social proof, showing that they're a legit company, a legit brand that is actually right now your head top, hot topic, trending topic, so you want to send it, it works well. Now moving on to the other segment, existing customers, definition pretty simple, just like with non-buyers, the only thing that changes is that we had placed order zero times there, and right here we have placed order at least once over all time. So for existing customers, you already acquired them, so you want to educate them a little bit more on the product itself to make sure that they are getting the most out of it. So the first campaign idea is how to use or consume the product, give them instructions on how to do it. Then some other guides on how to get the most out of the product. So if your product helps them solve a specific problem or they have some tips that would make it even better, 
share them with uh, with your audience, with your customers, they are gonna appreciate it and buy from you and again and again. Bundles, another great thing, so if they already bought from you, just promote the bundles and they're gonna buy more products at a lower price, win-win for both you and them. Cross sell upsell, so for example, if you bought product A, it means that you're struggling with problem A, here's product B that can also help you with the same problem, um, making your life even better. Restock, so some of your customers are gonna be absolute fans and they're just waiting for restock of your best sellers, so always let them know once you have it. Same goes for new arrivals, people are gonna be excited about new stuff because they know your products are great, so let them know. First purchase anniversary or customer birthday if you know when is it, but first purchase anniversary is great. Uh, you can also set up flow for that, but it's great for building the community, building the relationship with the customer. Same goes for a loyalty program. So if you have a loyalty program, introduce it, let them know. You can also have it in your post-purchase flow, it's fine as well. But sending a campaign from time to time won't hurt you as well. And then VIP, so the last segment for buying behavior. So these are people who are absolute fans. So they either bought from you four times or more, or their revenue is at least four times your AOV. And the number four, you may think, why four, not five or three? Just an example, so again, each brand would need, you would need to adjust it because if someone buys from you, for example, uh, every two weeks, uh, this is like normal, then probably you would increase the placed order to at least like six, six or seven. But if someone buys from you, usually uh, every 30 days or 60 days, then four times overall is pretty, pretty, pretty okay, uh, if you ask me. Same goes for revenue, so if your AOV is 100 bucks and someone spent 400 bucks, even though it's their first purchase, I mean, they probably like your brand and they didn't spend that much money for no reason. That's why you want to send them specific campaigns and reward them. Obviously, make sure you adjust it based on your buying behavior, AOV, uh, how often customers are buying and whatnot, uh, adjust it. Uh, this is just an example. Usually, it's gonna be an evergreen segment, so four or four, five times for most of the brands is gonna be completely fine, but then again, adjust it. And now content. So. Remember, those are people that bought from you and spent so much money uh, in your store, that is crazy. That's why we also we want to reward them and give them info about early access or early launch about your new products. They need to know first, like they are VIPs, so treat them like VIPs, give them those perks. Upsells, so even though they bought from you a lot, doesn't mean they won't keep buying. So if they want to keep buying, just give them some upsells. Flash sales, just to reward them. So if you're running a flash sale, it should be only VIP flash sale. Unless you have like side white flash sale, you know, but from time to time just run at simple casual flash sale. And I don't like talk, you know, forcing you to give discounts to people because this is not the main strategy that we use for campaigns. But from time to time, every like three months or two months, you can do like flash sale for VIPs only because those are people who already spend a lot of money. So you can just reward them so they spend more. Product feedback or survey or asking for reviews. Great way to you, you just increase the amount of reviews that you have. Get more data from those people by sending a survey and getting answers that then you can use in your emails or ads or on your website. Great way to do it. Then you just your request. So you already spend a lot of money in your store. So what you should do is just ask them to leave a UGC, right? Uh, they're your fans. So chances are they're, they're gonna be likely to record the UGC and actually send it to you. So that's it. Then social media promo, just ask them to follow you, right? So you are building your followers on across all the platforms, pretty straightforward. Then customer birthday, so I really suggest you ask those people uh, when is their birthday and actually give them something uh, as a gift. Even though we are not collecting for all the customers this data, just send them one email specifically to VIPs asking, hey, we are you're our VIP, we would love to know when is your birthday, so we might send you something. So that's it. Uh, those are the main segments and campaign ideas you can send. Again, uh, I, I don't like like micro segmenting uh, and going very deep because most of the time you should focus on creating actually good emails instead of trying to find this one trick or one segment that is finally gonna do well because that's not what it's all about. It's just like if you're running ads and you're trying to find this one interest or like one targeting that's gonna change everything. It's not gonna happen. You have to play with the basics and then create actually good content, good emails, and that's what ultimately gonna make you the most sales. So, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and take care. Bye.